Have you ever heard of tanks with anti-drone technology? Over the past three years, Russia has been gradually carrying out a major transformation of its armored forces. Around 200 design modifications have been implemented on their combat tanks, involving significant upgrades in firepower, protection, and mobility. These changes reflect a systematic effort to adapt to the challenges of modern battlefields and to ensure future combat dominance. Ahead of Victory Day, an occasion deeply symbolic in Russian military history, the country's main combat vehicle manufacturer, Urelvagon Zavod, announced the delivery of its latest batch of modernized tanks to the ranks of the Russian armed forces. Through the company's official telegram channel, Ural Vagonzavod confirmed that it had delivered new units of the T-72B3M and T-90M main battle tanks, both of which had received a variety of technological upgrades. Circulating photos show a line of tanks being loaded onto train wagons, ready to be dispatched to military distribution sites. The image not only serves as visual evidence of the report, but also underscores Russia's ongoing commitment to strengthening and modernizing its armored fleet. This move reflects the resilience of Russia's defense industry and its determination to maintain its combat readiness and military deterrent capabilities. According to a report from Bulgarian military, the exact number of main battle tanks currently being produced and delivered remains classified, a decision that reflects the highly sensitive nature of the current military situation. However, the source confirms that shipments of T-72B-3M and T-90M tank units originate from the massive industrial complex owned by Uralvagon Zavod in Nizhny Tagil, Russia. This facility is far more than just an ordinary factory. It is one of the largest military production centers in the world. With an impressive track record, more than 100,000 military vehicles have rolled off its production line since the company was founded. Uralvagon Zavad has long been a backbone in supplying frontline combat equipment. However, the landscape of modern warfare has changed drastically. Conflicts in various theaters are now dominated by the presence of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones, which can track, monitor, and even destroy targets from long distances. This reality has forced manufacturers like Uralvagon Zavad not only to produce tanks, but also to redesign their defensive capabilities. As part of adapting to this new threat, the latest tanks now feature significant upgrades. These include advanced electronic warfare systems designed to disrupt or neutralize drone signals, anti-drone nets installed to prevent vertical attacks, and rubberized shielding that covers vital areas such as the rear of the turret and the engine compartment. Each of these elements is a direct response to damage reports from combat units that have suffered drone attacks in battle. Why did Ural Vagonzavod choose to integrate anti-drone technology into its new tanks? In the realm of modern weaponry, the T-72B3M stands as a clear testament to the evolution of Russian military technology. This tank is a modernized version of the legendary T-72, featuring numerous significant upgrades designed to maintain its relevance on today's battlefield. Not only does the T-72B-3M inherit the glory of its predecessor, but it also introduces new breakthroughs in both firepower and protection. One of the key strengths of the T-72B-3M lies in its weapon system, capable of penetrating the armor of both Ukrainian and Western-made tanks making it a feared weapon on the battlefield. Behind this firepower is a new engine that significantly boosts mobility, allowing the tank to maneuver more nimbly across diverse terrains. However, its most striking feature is its protection system. The tank is equipped with Relict Explosive Reactive Armor, the latest generation designed to counter shape charges and kinetic penetrators. In addition, it is fitted with extra protective elements including steel slats and metal mesh, to defend against FPV drone attacks, which are increasingly common in modern conflicts. Meanwhile, the T-90M represents the pinnacle of Russian military engineering. As the most advanced main battle tank currently in active service, the T-90M comes equipped with cutting-edge features designed to withstand high-tech warfare. 
One of its standout features is its electronic warfare system, which disrupts the guidance systems of drones and missiles. Some T-90M units are also equipped with the Arena-M Active Protection System, a sophisticated defense mechanism that automatically detects and intercepts incoming projectiles using counter munitions. The existence of these defense systems is not without reason. Today, tanks have become prime targets for precision-guided weapons, armed drones, and highly lethal portable anti-tank systems. Therefore, maximum protection is no longer a luxury, but an absolute necessity. In this context, the ability of Ural Vagonzavod, Russia's main tank manufacturer, to continuously integrate anti-drone technology and cutting-edge protection features is a critical factor. They not only ensure that these tanks remain relevant on the battlefield, but also guarantee that Russia can produce them in large quantities, something that has proven to be a challenge for Western countries. Behind this success lies the extraordinary dedication of Uralvagonzavod's workers. They work tirelessly in three daily shifts, ensuring that the production line never stops. The company is also actively recruiting new workers, training the younger generation, and producing competent military engineering specialists, all to meet the surge in battlefield demand. While the West, with tanks like the M1 Abrams and Leopard 2, faces challenges in production volume, Uralvagonzavod continues to push its capacity. With a combination of technology, production efficiency, and a highly dedicated workforce, Russia is demonstrating that it can not only keep up, but also lead in terms of quantity. So, do you agree that Russian tanks are now in the lead? That's all for today and thanks for watching.